Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week beginning August the 4th, 2019. Let's see what comes up for you guys, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, the first card that we have coming up does talk to me about something that's going on for you on Sunday. So on Sunday, what we're seeing here is that you are um, really trying to figure out where you fit in. And I've seen this card come into play in two different areas of life. And I think for some of you, this is going to have to do with career, job, how you make a living, you know, business you want to start, something in that area. And for others of you, this is going to come in in the relationship sector, Sagittarius. So really wondering, okay, what is your place when it comes to the relationship that you're in? Or what type of relationship is it that you really want with somebody else? And if we're talking career sector, this is, you know, looking at, okay, well, what kind of career would I like to have? What kind of job would I like to have? What is my next step on my career path type of questioning? Okay. Now, and this is a more thorough type of questioning. When this card comes in right side up, not only are you looking for where do you fit in or how do you fit in and what you are right now, whether it's a relationship or a job position um, that you're in right now. So we're not only looking at where do you fit in? You're also looking at what are my strengths? What do I bring to the table? What are my weaknesses? What would it be better if I learned more about before I tried to do? Okay, so you're also looking at yourself. You're not just looking at, you know, where do you fit in and what out there would work for you. You're also looking at yourself and what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And that's helping you to get better ideas about where you would actually fit in and what would work for you as far as a job or as far as a relationship, whichever area this is. And if it's a relationship, you're looking at what do I bring to the table relationship wise? Am I compassionate? You know, do I bring the bacon to the table? You know, what is it that you actually bring to the table relationship-wise can be the way you're looking at this. So it's one of two ways, Sagittarius, and it's going to be different for for all of you, almost said for both of you. I hope there's more than two of you watching. <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you. And so, um, but it is, it has to do with finding your place in one area or the other. And it has to do with recognizing your strong points and your weak points as you're looking for your place so that you are being realistic about what is really a good fit for you. Okay, so that's Sunday. Now, Sagittarius Monday. Wow, you guys have kind of a rough week coming up, honestly. Um, The whole week isn't rough, which is good. And I am going to say it looks like for a, a lot of you, for the majority of you, this is we're talking about relationship sector. So there's something going on either with a romantic relationship or with a good friendship or a family relationship happening here. But this is something significant. Now, we do have the three of arrows that comes up on Monday. This does talk about heartache or heartbreak. All right. And this can be anything from, you know, your lover cheating on you and you find out to you see a sad story about something happening where there's cruelty to animals on the news and it really tears at your heart. You know, so there's huge range of how this can come into play, but some kind of heartache or heartbreak that comes in for you on Monday. Okay, Tuesday. Ten of bows, you're putting down some kind of responsibility. I think you've got a theme here. I think I'm looking at a story, so I'm just going to give it to you as a story. Actually, let's just start with that right now. You're already having questions about your relationship and if this is really a good fit for you or not, and you're also questioning, okay, um, there may be some self-esteem stuff going on here. This other person may be telling you, well, you're a worthless person, or, you know, this is not a good thing, or you're too angry, or you're too whatever. You're evaluating yourself, and you're also evaluating what would be a good fit for me the way that I am. Okay, so there's already some questions about whatever relationship or if you have a romantic interest or, 
you know, this could be a family thing too, but, or a friendship. I want to lean more towards romantic interest or friendship or romantic partnership or friendship. Okay, so we've got questioning going on on Sunday. On Monday, we've got some kind of heartbreak coming in. This is typically a card of heartbreak or betrayal if we're talking about relationship, which I'm really thinking that this is. On Tuesday, you're putting down some type of responsibility. I'm just going to tell you straight up, I think this has to do with walking away from the relationship or at least backing it down. Maybe if you were exclusive before, maybe you're saying, you know what, I think we need to see other people too. Or if you were moved in with this person, maybe you say, you know what, I still want to date, but I think maybe we moved in a little too early. I need to move out. Or maybe you ask them to move out, depending on what your circumstances are. You know, but putting down some of that responsibility that comes with that relationship. That's Tuesday. Wednesday, you're letting it go. This is a really bittersweet card. Um, this is a card that says that you're letting something go that you know that is totally and completely appropriate to let go. At the same time, there is some sentimental things going on there, and it is a, it is a little bit of a, it's a pang. It's a pang. It's very bittersweet. I think this is all about some type of relationship. I think you're letting that relationship go, and it's not the easiest thing. It's not like you're letting it go and you're just saying, I'm so mad at you, you're such a jack. SS or anything else this is you know I need to let this go and it's kind of hard to do it I mean you're you're comfortable with each other in a lot of ways all right so that's Monday through Wednesday let's look at Thursday this is my card that talks about getting rid of baggage and this card basically says that you're not really even though you've let the relationship go, you're not letting the baggage go, okay? And for those of you that this isn't your romantic partner, we could definitely be talking about a good friend or we could be talking about a family member. But anyway, there's some baggage, there's some old hurts, there's some old wounds. You're not ready to turn those loose yet. You feel the need to hold on to them still. Usually if we feel the need to keep holding on to those, we're afraid that if we let go of them, then we'll let somebody else or maybe even the same person come in and do the same thing all over to us. So we try to hold on to those hurts as a method of defense. Not necessarily our best choice, but a lot of people do that. If that's what's going on here, free will can change anything. Just because this comes up on the cards doesn't mean it has to happen. If you recognize that you're trying to hold on to hurts and feelings of where you've been treated unjustly or victimized, as you notice that energy coming in, if you can head that off at the past, that's going to be more healthy for you and that's going to help you to move on into a place where you can be happy much more easily. Okay, But as the card stands, it looks like there's something that you're not letting go of, some kind of old hurt or injustice or insult, some kind of offense that you're holding on to once we look at Thursday. All right, now let's look at Friday. Here what we have on Friday is the moon on water. When you've got the moon on water, to me what's the most important part of this card is more the top part when it comes up in reverse. And what we've got here looks to me like a dinosaur egg underneath the water. <laughs> and what's an egg? An egg is potential. It's full potential for life. So this tells me that by the time you get to Friday, even though on Thursday you're not letting everything go, by Friday you're starting to see, in a kind of distorted type of way, but still you are starting to see some type of potential. You're starting to see that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that, you know, even though this hurt to let go of this relationship, that there are some benefits to it too. And you may feel a little bit guilty about enjoying the benefits at first, but these are very real and tangible benefits that um, are good for you. Yeah, and I think you are going to enjoy it and better if you can get rid of the guilty feelings sooner rather than later and just totally let yourself enjoy the benefit of doing what you needed to do. Okay? And then the next card is for Saturday. And this is my morning card, but it's showing up in reverse, which means that you have come through a period of great sadness or mourning over the situation. Very quickly, you went into deep mourning for this card to show up. And this is telling me that you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. 
once again a little bit like the last card this is saying you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel you're you're starting to realize that you can laugh and that it's okay the world isn't, isn't going to end if you're actually happy now now it's not like you're spending a super lot of time happy with this card in reverse but you're starting to see that you know it's not the end of the world to be happy it's okay you're starting to feel a little bit less guilty and understand a little bit more about why things went down the way they went down and starting to understand a little bit more about why you needed to do what you needed to do okay so that's kind of a heavy read I'm sorry about that Sagittarius but that's just what came up now obviously this is a general reading so not everything's gonna apply to everybody if this doesn't happen to apply to you for this week you may want to check your rising sign or your moon sign and see if those apply more um, but I would say that you know if none of this seems like it is really on your horizon I wouldn't call it to you just because you saw it in a reading okay um, so anyway that covers that um, for those of you that this is the first time that you've seen me and you appreciate my reading style um, if you would subscribe that way you can see me again that would be great those of you who feel like you benefited from or you were helped by this reading don't forget to thumbs up this reading please and also don't forget to share it with somebody else who might be benefited or helped by it as well um, those of you who have been watching me a while you know that I also offer live readings either by phone or by Skype and I offer pre-recorded readings if all you have is just one or two questions those are probably the best option in that case um, in the live readings we really dig in deep to your questions and the things that you want to know about um, the pre-recorded are a little bit more basic you still get a lot of information but we're just not really digging in all the way to the bone to find the information that you need like we do in a live reading okay um, let's see I also do Reiki sessions, long distance Reiki sessions for those of you who need healing of any kind. Um, all that information is on my website and my website is www.amista.info, I-N-F-O. If I'm doing my job right, that will be on the screen right here at the bottom. <laughs> but if it's not, it's also going to be in the description box below just in case you forget it. Once you've checked out my website, make sure I am the right reader for you. There's a lot of competition out there. I may not be the right reader for you, but make sure that I am. And then once you do, just get a hold of me. All my contact information is on the website. And once you get a hold of me, we'll get you taken care of quickly. I don't believe in making people wait for a reading. They usually needed them like 10 minutes before they contacted me. So I try to get to you the same day, or if not the same day, at least the next day. So, you know, you're not going to have a big wait to talk to me. Um, about anything else you need to know. I think that's it. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate all of you and all of your support in whatever way it shows up. And I hope that you all have a wonderful, thrilling, peaceful, joyful week. Peace out.